Hi and welcome. This is Homebody Rundown and I am HR. In this video, I'm showing some yard projects, but mostly checking in on plants over the summer. We live in Southwest Michigan, USA, zone 6B, and we started out summer, early summer, with quite a bit of rain. This wagon has only been out here a few days. This is landscaping at the end of our driveway. It's a tricky spot because we don't really want edging here, at least not along the edge of the driveway because we can get a lot of snow and the edging would be in the way for the snow blower or the shovel. But you can see here where it's washed out, the road slopes down towards our driveway and the runoff is constantly pushing the dirt out of the bed. I'm still not sure what I want to do, but I did add in new topsoil just so it would look better and put in some edging and rocks where there's a big slope into the ditch to hold it in place. This is not a long-term solution. These rocks will have to get moved because I can't run the trimmer against such small rocks. It'll just throw them. Checking on an experiment in the woods, I set this Brunnera or Brunera out to see if the deer would eat it. Just a side note, I've heard YouTubers say it both ways, so I'm not sure which is right. Anyway, the deer did give it a taste, but they didn't eat it to the ground. I'll still put it inside a fence. I also set out a grass, but I wasn't really worried about that, and it's fine. Here are a couple deer, even closer to the house under the oak tree. There are more experiments here. I actually put a few annuals out. There are impatience and begonias. This buck is currently eating a begonia and not just the flowers. It looks like he's eating the leaves too. Yeah. Sometimes they just come through and eat all the flowers and buds and leave the leaves. They left, so I'm coming out to inspect the damage. Looks like they also ate a few leaves off this really large hosta. They don't always do that on the large ones, but I guess I have to put the fence back around this. And hey, they didn't eat the entire thing, so I should be able to save this. Now they are eating all of the leaves off of this blackberry bush at least all the leaves that are outside the fence. The lamb's ear went pretty crazy this year. I want to cut it all back, but the bees are loving it so much that I'm going to give it a few more days. Next to the lamb's ear, this reblooming lilac is putting out flowers. I'd like to get another one of these next year. I was going to go work in this fenced garden, but I noticed a visitor. The deer like to leave their fawns in the yard. Okay, the fawn has left. So I'm checking the rain gauge here. We got a little more rain. It's been very wet. These berries seemed waterlogged and a lot of them are gone. I don't know if they just fall off because they're so heavy or if critters are eating them. The hostas seem to be loving all the moisture and are looking beautiful. A lot of them are flowering right now at the end of June. Also, the astilbe are flowering and some of the lilies. I just bought this one last year or the year before. It's a really happy color of pink. Here's a look at the west front yard flower bed. Most things here do not flourish. It is very dry at times and there are two walnut trees on the edge here. I did give the two boxwood a trim, so hopefully they will put out some new growth. They seem to do fine. I have noticed that some of the blue star junipers are really struggling. This one looks good, and it's it gets a lot of shade. The next one is also looking very healthy. It gets part shade. But the last two here, which are in full sun, do not look good. And I think this is a full sun plant. I'm going to move them somewhere else. Here's a look at the backyard. You can see our temporary patio set up with a pop-up. We're having a new patio put in next to the house. 
This flower bed is mostly new this year and overall it's doing well. I'm really happy with the verbena. It's grown a lot as have both of these types of thyme. We'll have to see how these annuals do here outside of the fencing. We do have a few sunflowers growing in here, courtesy of the bird seed. And this lily is doing great. It has so many more buds this year. It's a week later and the front side yard is pretty destroyed from the patio construction. We are going to have to do a lot of work out here, but I decided to give up on this spruce tree. It's been here for over a decade. The bottom usually looks dead, and once we pulled it, you could see it just did not have nearly enough roots. My husband thought he was funny, and he planted the top of the tree. If it had all looked this good, I would have kept it. I don't know what went down here. My guess is it involves squirrels, but this sunflower is toast. It did not go well for the impatience out here. So today I dug up all the begonias and impatience and we'll get them into pots so they will be safe from the deer. I'm leaving the verbena, they haven't touched it. Also dug up petunias that I had put out front. The deer weren't bothering those, but something was eating the leaves. I don't know if it was slugs or some other insect. Anyway, everything is potted and watered. I'm going to leave it here overnight, so I had to build a fortress of chairs around them. Here's the patio. It's going to be really nice to be up off the ground again, and with the concrete, we don't have to worry about skunks being under us like with the deck. There will be a lot of grass planting to do out here though. There were some lavender out front that were not looking good. I'm not sure if they're affected by walnut trees, but I moved them to the backyard along with those two blue star junipers that were not looking good. There is a lot of sun here, so I'm keeping some chairs over them for a couple weeks. A lot more rain. Definitely won't have to water for a few days. Notice that there were no blossoms on the peach tree and came in for a closer look and found this horror show. It is just oozing all over this thing. My husband did a pretty significant trim on it in this earlier spring and a quick Google search makes us think that it didn't like it. Ugh. bought three planters for the new patio and I was informed by a child that they look like trash cans anyway I wanted something tall and lightweight and these fit the bill they're from Lowe's I also picked up three purple fountain grass which I love but it's a little late in the season to be buying them here they do not look great when I went to the checkout, the cashier actually asked if they were on clearance, but unfortunately they were not. I am hoping that fertilizer will give them a big boost and probably just getting them out of these pots. I put some rocks in the bottom of these for drainage and because they're so tall, I am putting the plastic pots upside down in here to take up some of the space so they're not so heavy and I don't need to use as much dirt. But be aware this could make them obviously a little top heavy. This is a Spoma Biotone fertilizer. These things were pretty root bound. Just a note from future me, these things put on a lot of growth and still look great in October. So grateful the boys can install this edging for me today around the fern bed. It's going to be quite a bit larger than the current plantings for two reasons. First, I'd just like to expand it and fill it in more. And second is you need to make more gradual curves with this rubber edging. 
I order it from Walmart, and if it's still online, I will link it in the description. I can't say how it holds up long term because I started buying it this year, but I am really thankful for the ease of installation. There is no trenching. Took these screenshots on July 17th. We have gotten a lot of rain. The crocosmia has some blossoms. They're beautiful. And the black-eyed Susans are loaded with blooms. This is the first year I've had them all fenced. Checking in on some of the front landscaping, did some heavy trimming on multiple shrubs out here really late in the spring, and then we had super hot weather for a long period of time. That means everything has really looked terrible, but it's all still alive and seems to be putting on new growth. These two barberries were transplanted in here around the same time and are really looking pretty good, but I think I watered them every day that it didn't rain. The hibiscus is in bloom. It would probably be happier if it didn't get so much shade later in the day and also if it was watered more often. I really don't know that it's worth the trouble. This is a little surprising. These black-eyed Susans are blooming. Typically the deer come through and eat off the buds, but this most recent flush they did not. The rose is looking beautiful. I love this flower, but I am going to move it into the old veggie garden so it has room to expand. Right now it's in a small fence. I bought this allium last year. It's the first one I have and everything I read said the deer would leave it alone and I believed it because we have a lot of wild onions in the yard and the deer don't touch them. It's beautiful. I want to buy a bunch of bulbs to plant this fall. This Wygela has been nibbled on, but it is putting out some new buds. The deer also seem to only like the new growth on this nine bark. So that's something. More black eyed Susans in bloom, even where they are mostly in shade. Our friends are here checking on things. They don't really eat any of the plants outside this fence here, like the cat mint or the lamb's ear. I think they're mostly eating weeds and such. But at some point, they did come right up to the patio and eat a bunch of blossoms off of these flowers. I should have known better than to put them right at the edge. These are the poor things I rescued from the yard earlier this summer. But this time they seem to only eat the flowers. I wanted to give an update on these ferns. I planted them up in my last garden video. They are indoor ferns I bought at Walmart and they have struggled. I have three that are this size and eventually they had gnats and looked so bad. I brought them outside, trimmed them up and sprayed them. We'll see. I won't be buying any more ferns from Walmart. Just going to end on kind of a fun note. We are apparently growing sorghum, at least according to an app on my phone. This is where the bird feeder was, so I assume it's in the bird feed. Honestly, it's a good aesthetic for fall. Thanks for watching.